So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your ninth Ionic tutorial in which we're going to start off with a very basic application in Ionic which would be a login application and we're going to take a look at tons of things how to add icons and input fields and making use of storage in Ionic later on as we proceed in the series. So let's get started. Now again I'm going to make use of the same project we have right now that is the blank project but you can start a new project if you want to. So first of all let's just get rid of this first page right here we can just delete that and right here inside our home what we can say is uh, right here inside our HTML we can say something like uh, uh, login application or just login right and we can right here create our login fields and now to create our login fields I'm gonna go to the components section we have inside Ionic and right here take a look inside this inputs one so you can see that the documentation provides you a lot of information about different kinds of inputs and lets you interact as well so that you do not have to implement it every time you are working in your app so that's quite convenient so you can see that fixed inline labels are something like this something like placeholders we make use of in HTML but this floating labels kind of is the thing not really the inline labels yeah so these labels what they are is pretty much they follow the material design so that they just move up whenever you click this and it's kind of nice so let's just implement this thing only so we're gonna say something like this and copy this right here and right here we're gonna instead of this paste this thing so again the code is actually quite self-explanatory you can see that we are creating an item item actually and uh, with an ion label with input text type text and it kind of looks like the HTML markup only but it is kind of optimized for every device you are running on so it would make sure to make it look and feel a bit native as much as it can so again this padding just provides a little padding to the container and then we are making use of the block button as sign in so if we save this and we can for now just get rid of this thing and um, what the heck did I do just right there we can get rid of this and this one as well and make sure to get rid of your page inside the component the module file as well so that we don't mess around with the angular and there we go hit save save and that should be it so if we take a look now um, we are actually putting it in the home right now no not really ion list I guess we copied it now save this thing no, okay don't save don't save and where we are ion list And obviously we're gonna need an ion list in the first place. Let's save. And it should reload and give it us this nice little interface which is uh, which looks kind of ugly right now because uh, we are not making use of the floating label right here floating and floating so right there and again our button is uh, ion button make sure to add that and we should be good to go so now you can see that we can do something like this write our name and our password and hit sign in so right now it hap does nothing so we can say sign in as the action name and right here inside home page I'm gonna create another sign in so we can actually get reference of these two values so we can say password and username like that and save this and right here we can say view child username as the username and view child password as the password you can just set it to HTML element as well and we, we're just gonna import that 
so right here we can just say console log uname dot val and password dot val and obviously make sure to make use of this and right here if we open our console and let it build we should be able to enter our name and password and hit login sign in and we get undefined because this is actually value not while so yeah the while one actually kind of works with jquery so anyways we're gonna try it again one more time password and hit sign in you can see that we got our mail and password right here at the bottom so now we can do something like if this dot uname dot value is equal to admin and, and and this is just a stupid authentication obviously you do not want to do that in your live application you're gonna do something like showing a page or something like that again we can create an alert right here if you want to if the user is successfully um, logged in so we can again go back to the documentation and right here at the top we can go to alerts and right here inside basic alerts you can actually just see it live in the action as well if you select this show basic alert it would just give you a nice little alert so we can see that we just need to create this let alert and uh, it would just automatically take care of that so we can again paste it right here and just indent it a little and we can say and again we are not inheriting this right now so we can import this alert controller alert controller from or actually we do have that thing ready with us alert controller right there so we can actually just get rid of this real quick and uh, we can then inject it as a dependency inside public alert control as alert controller and we should be able to access that so you can see login successful um, and we can set a message that you are logged in and just that's it for now so if we take a look again hit save and let it build so now if you write like admin admin hit sign in you can see that we get a alert login successful you are logged in so that is how pretty much would make a very basic application and again this is not complete right now we have just set up the boilerplate for the application obviously this logic would fail a lot of times so we're gonna create in the next videos we're gonna create a section where we can actually create an account and then we can log in in using those usernames and passwords only which are valid credentials so instead of hard coding them we would kind of make use of the storage which ionic provides us so yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it again then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one and again i have my patreon link in the description so if you want to check that out please do share